Hi there, I'm Lisa, this is Ted my husband, and along with Hans, Air Alsatian, and Bessie, who thinks she's a kangaroo, we are Chateau de Montmagne. March 2020, when Covid spanned the globe and the world began to lock down, we decided to turn our lives upside down and begin the adventure of a lifetime. We threw in our jobs, packed up the car and purchased this 14th century historical monument. You have arrived. Woohoo! We have arrived. <laughs> With no previous experience and just £80,000 budget and a tent as their temporary residence, we plan to transform this abandoned, unloved historical monument into a family home and thriving business. We have so many new skills to learn along the way, but we invite you to come along for the ride. So strap yourselves in and let the fun begin. Okay, so now the windows are made, today's job is to try and get them in place. Now we've got a cameraman coming again today to film us putting the windows in place. And the problem is, I woke up this morning with what Ted had or has still got. So um, I am feeling rather crap this morning. And we also are going to be filming the master interview today. So it's not, not the best time for me to have bags under my eyes and puffy eyes and uh, be coughing and spluttering. But there you go. Hansy! Come here you. Yes, come here. Oh, big stretch, big stretch. Eat your dinner, boy. Eat your dinner. Another day begins. What's the matter? You don't want your dinner? This is the window frame, and this is the sill. This is the sill for the other window. What we're doing is offering it up, and as you see, we've got large gaps either side, which I'm contemplating packing out with other timber. The reason why we had these large gaps is because this is the timber I was using. I had to make the framework the same size as the window pane. That stands to reason. I couldn't make this any bigger because I didn't have any big, bigger timber. So they were all made out of chevrons. And the reason why I made it out of those is because they're relatively straight. So I could work with straight pieces of wood. What I'm planning on doing, I think, is packing out this side with another piece and rip up another piece of this and run it in this side because this is a fairly regular gap. That will make sense there and then we can fill that with whatever, foam or lime mortar or anything like that and then I can scribe into whatever is left here for, that, for, the, for the edge trim here. Once that's done, I can screw into the stone. So the idea is to screw through here into the stone to lock this in place. Put this in with two screws either side and then screw into that. Looking at that underneath there, I'll probably get something that will go all the way through. Don't need to worry about the other side. Just because these ones and one in here into the lintel, the frame ain't gonna move. And once it's, you know, Lisa's probably going to come in and mortar down here, make it look nice and clean and, and all uh, finished off. So it's not going anywhere. The frame will not go anywhere. It's level, it's straight, it's square, which is lovely. It's a juxtaposition between the, the out of line walls and the square frame, which I think looks really nice. And we've done that before. So one thing is we've had quite a lot of people talk to us about doing this window business 
and why you're doing it and why you're not getting people to come and do it. If we had to do these, if we had to get somebody in to do these windows, each one has to be bespoke. So you can't just go along and say, right, I'm going to make that one, I'm going to make that one. They're exactly the same production line, this, that, and the other. Everything has to be bespoke in this place. So all of this wood you see here is all reclaimed timber. This is all stuff that was in the barn. Bigger pieces like this are just jointed together to make um, the window sills and all that. So all of this is free. The window panes, as we spoke to before, the actual window units cost us 25 euros. So in the theory, my time, 25 euros a window. If possibly, I have no idea, I'm just spitballing here, but all the conversations we've had with everybody is the window pane on itself, the, the actual unit would be about 300 euros. Just that unit. Just the glass. Just the glass, 300 euros. So you're already 275 up on the deal, aren't you? If you then had the frame made and the window sill made and the fitting of them, you're looking at four figures. You're probably looking at well over a thousand to have those windows put in. And that's maybe just one. It could be a thousand each. I have no idea, but I know we've saved a few quid. And it's a good learning curve for, all, for both of us about putting this stuff in. We start doing this. These little ones should be a breeze. I remind you of that. When well, I'm pain in the ass they are to do. So the first window frame is in place. Okay, so I've finished both my walls now. This one and the other side's both done. Um, so I'm just cleaning them up now and then Ted will be able to put his frame in. Another job that I need to do today is getting cement off the walls. There's lots of areas where our predecessor, I don't know why, but obviously had a bit of cement left and just shoved them in any hole he could find. So before Ted puts the glass in, I want to try and get the cement off of these walls and clean them up a bit so that there's no risk of us using an SES drill around glass. Because you all know I'm a little bit clumsy. Not just you, love. I think we'll all have that. <laughs> Not just you. We'll all, you know, we'll go to do it and then go bang. So, um, so I have yeah. got some spares, but I don't want to use them. <laughs> so today is a clean up day for me, cleaning up all of this getting any cement off the walls, cleaning all this side of the walls up and uh, yeah, then the windows can go in as soon as Ted's finished the frames. You can see here, this is all cement that's been put in the wall here. Ted at the moment is just putting the frame in to have a look and uh, thinking about scribing it in. But yeah, this is where loads of this cement needs to come out there's a load on this side there's a load on the inside so i'm going to get the sds out and uh, get started on that Finally, we had both window frames in place. Securely screwed in, packed in, they weren't going anywhere. 
so it was now time for Ted to get on to the next job, which was the scribing in. Now you see here with the first window frame, there are a lot of holes down the right hand side. Now before Ted can actually spray the expanding foam into this area, he needs to scribe in some wood on the outside space. Otherwise the foam would just come straight the way through. It's an extremely fiddly job to do. But as you know, Ted's had quite a bit of practice of it now and he's getting rather good. Now he does have a rather nifty little tool for this. It's called a profiler. You just push it up against the edge of the stone and it gives you the exact shape that you need to cut out. Once you've got your profile, you then take a pencil, draw it onto your piece of wood, and then you know exactly what you need to cut out. Just they extraordinary. Wood. Extraordinary. Extraordinary. Look, this is I'm going to say now. Two quid out of a bracon that you spent thousands in. <laughs> Two quid. This is all I get. But it's, it's brilliant. But even with his profiling tool, I knew this was going to take quite a long time. So I'd finished my walls. There was only one thing I could do. Take a Christmas shopping trip with Joe. Okay, so me and Joe are off on a shopping trip. Christmas shopping! Oh, it's Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> Not quite, nearly. Uh, I just hope they've got everything out. They well, must that is very true. Now. I've seen... Yeah, they've got Christmas lights on the outside, so they must do. Right, which side of the road am I on? Okay, Christmas shopping at Charlie Land. <laughs> what are we gonna get? I just want, I like you, I want some inspiration because yeah. I wanna make most of mine this year. But if I can get some sort of, you know, cheap bits and that just to embellish it. Yeah. But I'd just like some inspiration on what to make. Oh yeah, definitely. definitely. Right, let's go. Beautiful. You can't believe that's real, can you? They're dyed, aren't they? Oh, they Done with the dye. Oh. Yeah, aren't they beautiful? I I really don't know. I know they're dyed. Well, Emily would love these. She's uh, a real. Old they're gorgeous. <laughs> we used to have a huge one of these in our house that Mum had for years. Mm. Like a huge glass pot. They were really popular, weren't they? Yeah. In like the eighties, seventies, eighties. They are pretty. They are very pretty. <coughs> Christmas. It's Christmas! <laughs> These pots are nice. Oh Pretty expensive, aren't they? Well, I remember last time they Yeah. Oh, how expensive But it is lovely. See, I love all this. All the fake flowers, because as you know, I kill everything. Yeah, that's the only reason, that's the reason I do fake yeah. things. I just can't keep anything alive. These are pretty. They're very pretty, aren't they? Well, I'm hoping they've got some uh, sort of like Christmas tree foliage. That's pretty. Yeah. So that one stem, 20 euros. <gasps> God, we come to the right place. They are beautiful, but yeah. they, you know, they are good quality. Yeah, these are nice colours. They look pretty. quite realistic. Really. Yeah. These are a lovely colour too. Yeah, they're pretty. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Snow White would have a bit of a problem <laughs> with that one. <laughs> oh, look, they've got hanging. 
See, look, twenty-one ninety-five. I don't think I'll be buying much today. <laughs> 6 95 <laughs> Oh dear. That's just so expensive. It is, isn't yeah, it? That should be like $1.90 or something. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's lovely. He is cute, <laughs> isn't he? One thousand. No! Oh my god. What is it? Sixteen hundred quid. <laughs> oh my god, I was joking! <laughs> Sixteen hundred quid. Oh dear. Oh my god. Alright, we've come to the yes. wrong shop. <laughs> So as you've probably gathered, this shop was way over mine and Joe's purse strings. However, it did give us lots to talk about and lots of inspiration. But you'll just have to wait for another week to see what we come up with. In the meantime, we had to head back to see how Ted was getting on. So the window frame's all in, seals are nice and flat, nice and level, everything squared up. But what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna cut my bead in top and bottom um, we're gonna mastic all around there so it's got some uh, the glass panel's got a nice seating to go in and then we're going to uh, put the beading in the top and the bottom and that's me done I haven't scribed in the side but once that's in I can scribe it in because it's not like uh, I have to cut it in situ or anything like that I can scribe it in at my leisure when, when we put the panel in but it's good to get the panel in so I'm just measuring 691, it's the bottom beading, don't you just love it, 691 is the top. So we're going to cut those, might add corners, make it look attractive, also they, you know, hopefully if we cut them nice and uh, true they, they lock in as well. So. We're going to do that. Okay, so glass is going in. Final piece of the puzzle. <laughs> right, my only thought is whether the bolts, these bolts either side, are going to foul it. No. No. She's bang What's it like on the inside of that? Yeah, no, it doesn't looks matter. Good. I'm not bothered because it's gone in really nicely. No, it's tight, it's lovely. Right, come round here and hold. Give the camera to your assistant. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need to put in, if I put in the top and bottom, then you can yeah. depart. I don't know what I've done with them. So this is the beading that's going on the top to secure the window in place. It goes in there like that. <laughs> and we hope 
that we don't put an owl through the house. Because <laughs> that, that would be disaster. Yeah. Although we have got... Look at that. That's it. Sorry, can you? Out the way now, yeah, are you all right now? Be, yeah, yeah, fine. Should be all right. As long as I don't. There you go. Look at that. Just the side pieces to go in, and then the scribe in round the outside, but that's a little fettling job, as your husband would put it. <laughs> We have a guest cameraman, camera person. It's me. Guest yeah. camera person. <laughs> they will have a video. So there you go. Anyway, you're happy with that? Yeah, I think that's that's, absolutely that's going. That, you know, that's not going anywhere. Um, we'll do our mitres, get them nice and tight, take your time doing those, and that'll be it. And then, yeah, once we put the the uh, the scribed in bead on this side. And you got the other one to do. We just got the other side to do, and then I've got another one, two, three. Four, five, <laughs> to do. So the windows are finally in place. They look spectacular. It actually looks like a proper little house now. But like Ted said, quite a few more openings to do. As always, we would like to say a huge thank you to all of you that supported us on the Buy Us A Toll campaign. Hopefully, we will be able to start the work straight after Christmas on the Medieval Banqueting Hall. However, we do have 3,000 more tiles to go. But this week, we would like to say a huge thank you to Julie W, Michelle again, Victoria Jones, and Nicolette again, thank you so much for all your support. We'd li also like to say a huge thank you to our patrons. You guys are just amazing and keep us going through thick and thin. If you'd like to become a patron, check out the link in the description below. You get to see all the behind the scenes footage, blooper reels, um, Facebook patron only page where you get Facebook live videos. There's discounts to stay in this wonderful, wonderful place. Um, what else have I forgotten, darling? I'm trying to think now. Zoom chats with Zoom me and Zoom chats you. with me and Lisa, <laughs> which is absolutely such great fun. Please check it out and see if you want to become a patron. It's only £10 a month. Bye, Bye for now. now.